It's cold out and I'm thinking about Girls Last Tour again. Not the show so much, but the title. I think Girls Last Tour explains everything it needs to in the shortest amount of words. The title tells me you will be following these girls on their final adventure. Not only a plot synopsis, but also hints at the ending. Something fans quickly picked up on, and something that sort of halts their desire to reach the conclusion. On the way, we experience the lives of two girls appreciating what little of the world they exist in has to offer. But I must ask, those who simply watched the anime and didn't want to read those last two volumes of the manga, what's the value in appreciating the little things if there is no closure? I tend to enjoy this brand of storytelling where it's a more balance of positive tones offset by negative ones. It allows for an exploration of optimism and a harsher reality. And the reason Girls Last Tour is possibly my favorite example of this is because it ends. Before getting into specifics, I ask you to finish the story, you cowards. Am I being too aggressive with that? Uh, I don't think so. If your hesitation to move forward is due to not wanting the girls to die, I think that is cowardly. But naturally so. The fear of death is only natural. But that doesn't mean it's something that should be ignored. Think to yourselves, would you want to live on forever? Would any moment of your existence mean anything if there is no consequence or end? That's a concept Tsukumizu explores multiple times in her story. The simple statement of, maybe life means something that has an end, is one of the more obvious examples in the series. Tsukumizu's final thoughts at the end of Volume 3 elaborate on this a bit more, finishing with, I'd like all things to be over at some point. I think having an end is a comforting thing. Even if you don't plan on finishing the manga, I recommend looking into these thoughts at the end of each volume. They offer a lot of insight into her thought process and ideals. I think aside from the one I just showed, the one at the end of Volume 4 may be my favorite. Why are there always wars? Why can't everyone have equal lives? I read a lot of books and think about this. I'll make attempts to get to the bottom of it or I'll dream about my ideals. But I don't get it. I start to hate everything. Thinking wears me out. Maybe thinking too big picture doesn't make people very happy. The only feeling I want in life is the texture of the persimmons from the persimmon tree in my family's yard. This is exactly what I would expect from the creator of Girls Last Tour, showcasing the small pleasures in life despite being aware of a harsher reality. And Tsukumizu seems to approach the idea of death in a similar way, and by its end, this is the story of Girls Last Tour. This moment that hasn't been adapted yet is a story about an AI that wants to die. It's something with a seemingly endless existence, unable to activate its own self-destruction code. The AI explains what it's like to have unlimited memory, how all thoughts become incomprehensible, trapped with no end goal. This is why he tricks the girls into activating the self-destruction code. I think after enough time, the desire to move on becomes just as natural as the fear to move on is. It's acceptance. Moving on to one of the more tragic moments in the story is the point where the Ketten Crag breaks down. While one of their lowest moments, there's something really poetic about Chito converting the thing that kept them moving for so long into a bath for one last moment of bliss. I love how this moment calls back to the bath scene in the first volume, and I love that Yuri brings out the last bottle of beer they had. It's a low moment that parallels some of their highest moments. The final moment with a friend that kept them going for so long is also a relaxing one. Things only become more tragic as the story moves forward. Now having to travel on foot, they become more tired, cover less distance, use up more resources, and leave behind things they've had from the beginning of the story. But they keep pushing forward. After everything, they eventually make it to the top, they reach their goal, and they find... Nothing. A vast open plain covered in snow. Shortly after reaching the top, the girls eventually sleep and peacefully pass away. You know the saying, it's all about the journey, not the destination? Well, Girls Last Tour has always been about that, and it's pretty obvious the entire time. But that phrase holds more weight after the destination is reached. One can only value things in the moment so much. It's usually upon reflection where we truly appreciate that journey. And I found this to be true in Girls Last Tour specifically. After reaching the conclusion, moments I once only smirked at have further ingrained themselves in my mind. 
Seeing the two drunkenly humming a song from the show as they danced under the moonlight will now go down as one of my favorite moments in anime. And the overall package is stronger too. It felt like I got to experience Chito and Yuri's lives in their entirety, alongside them. And I wouldn't trade that experience for anything. Girls Last Tour is a celebration of Chito and Yuri's lives that I'm glad I could see to the end. And I was not able to fully appreciate it until I could look down at it from the highest and final level. All of what I said today does not do the whole story justice, however. So again, I ask you. Finish Girls Last Tour.